Hello? Hello? Don't run away. I'm not going to eat you. Mm, maybe I will. Okay. Um. G'day gamers. Gob here. Welcome back to Gob's Quickers. Now I thought I'd do something different t today. And that's start today's episode doing some Never Fortress riding. Ah! Oh no. What am I going to do now? How do I find my way back here? I don't even know where I am. Oh, I respawned. I respawned right back in the fortress at my new respawn point. The respawn anchor, which I've set to this fortress. Isn't that lucky? Well, that was certainly lucky. Good thing I had a respawn anchor in the Never, and that's one of the new additions from this latest snapshot, 20W12A, for the 1.16 Never update um, to Minecraft. It's an awesome block and really changes for. Oi! Go away! Yes, you! Stop floating near me, you. Oh. These ghasts. They're ever so rude. Okay, so as I was saying, the Respawn Anchor is one of the latest additions to the game and it will change things in the Never. Okay, so you can set a spawn point, a bit similar to a bed, uh, in the Never and uh, means that you don't necessarily have to run all the way back to the Overworld. All we need now is something like this in the end and it will be awesome! Let's hope that comes one day soon. Okay, so how do we make one of these? Okay, so to make a respawn anchor, you need your crafting table, and you need six pieces of crying obsidian, and three pieces of glowstone. Now you get your crying obsidian by trading with the piglins, and I think there's some over here somewhere, I saw one before. Hello Mr. Piglin, and if you give the piglins um, gold bars, they will give you random loot, and sometimes you'll get crying obsidian. Okay, so, to craft it, six pieces of crying obsidian, three glowstone, and you've got yourself a respawn anchor, just like this one. We'll put it down there, next to it. There we go. And how do we use, uh, use it? Well, we prime it with glowstone. You get your glowstone as one and that's a charge. So I've charged that with one charge, one piece of glowstone, and you've got a, uh, a one quarter of the uh, little circle that goes in the center there. Isn't it a pretty texture? Oh, two charges, three charges, and it's lighting up even further. And four charges, and that is a fully charged respawn anchor. And watch, if I was in survival now, I'd click on that, it then says uh, respawn set, and that becomes your respawn point. And you've got four um, charges to that, so you can respawn four times using that respawn anchor. So if you die, you'll go back to the point where this is, much the same as a bed. Happy days. Love it, love it, love it. And you've seen how it works in action just previously. Okay, what else is new in this one? 0.16 snapshot 20w12a. We'll get rid of that. Don't need that no more. Let's put down some glowstone now. There we go. It's not as dark and dreary. Okay, so also uh, new in this snapshot, we'll get some bone meal. In this snapshot, bone meal will now grow, undergrowth on the warped nylium, much the same, warped and crimson nylium I should say, much the same as it does on grass blocks in the overworld. So put it down and there you go. I have grown the little um, bushes that grow in the never and the same thing on the warped. Okay, so it spreads itself out. Now I discovered something interesting before. This is just plain neverack. Watch what happens when I put the bone meal on that. It turns in to the nylium. There we go. So a way of expanding your location. What happens on 
nothing there. Let's find a spot where there's only um, Neverack and see what happens. There's that Never Fortress. Okay, so nothing happens here, so it must be biome specific. Interesting little experiment. Let me get back to my little explanation point. If I can find it, I could be lost now forever. Ah, uh, there we go. Now, while I'm out floating about, see the ba these basalt columns? There's also a change in this snapshot to these bad boys. Okay, so the basalt columns. Okay, so when you get basalt, it comes out looking like that. You mine it away, happy days. But now, under this snapshot, you can put your basalt in a furnace. And it comes out as polished basalt with a whole new texture. See, a bit like a wood grain. It just adds an extra building block for all you wonderfully creative people out there. And you can see what you might be able to do with that. So happy days. Another change to this snapshot is another expansion on the trusty hoe. Um, I think the developers have gotten sick and tired of people um, taking the mickey out of the hose and have decided to give hose a realistic use. So hose are now, well I'm in creative so you're not going to get it, hose are now the tool of choice for harvesting sponges and wet sponges. So there you go, more use for a hoe. Boom, 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 boom. Happy days. Now another change has happened has been the change to the mining of the Never Gold. Never Gold can now be mined with any pick. So I've got here my trusty stone pick. Let's go and see what it can do. And I've got a convenient line of Never Gold here. We'll now mine it with our trusty stone pick and I got gold nuggets let's try our iron pick and I got gold nuggets and we got our diamond pick and gold nuggets so if we mine it with a pick any of any type pick without silk touch we'll just get nuggets which is still a way of getting gold without having to do a lot oh there's a blaze don't hurt me and to talk about a couple of the other uh, mechanics changes, I might just nip to the overworld. I'll see you there. Oh, that's convenient. I've come out over the ocean, which is precisely what I wanted to talk you, to you about. Now, one of the uh, changes to the game under this snapshot is fishing. Um, what they've done now... Oh, look, that's a nice one, very pretty. What they've done now is they've made it that you can only get treasure loot from fishing if you're fishing out on open water and open water is going to be defined as anything that doesn't have a bubble column under it anything that doesn't have a block underneath it, a block above it is a water source block um, so they've basically tried to uh, take out of the equation the AFK fish farms you can still use AFK fish farms if you just want fish but if you want treasure like books and things like that then you've got to fish out here and I'm sure someone who's much smarter than me will come up with a way to do it. I certainly hope so. But it is a bit cheaty, so I can understand why they've done it. Now, the other thing that they've done is they've taken out the ability to do zero tick farms. Okay, so crops and plants and that will no longer instantly grow when the block underneath it uh, updates. So your zero ticks are gone ski. Um, oh, Ocean Monument. This isn't a bad seed at all very happy with this. Um, yeah, so your zero ticks are gone. Um, they've changed the way bees um, operate. They no longer go uh, flying around aimlessly for lots and lots of blocks. They actually stick to a, uh, a smaller uh, wander area. 
and parrots no longer um, imitate as loudly hostile mob sounds which is good because it normally freaks me out so there you go that was a quick rundown of the changes in a snapshot 20w12a to the 1.16 never update very exciting i'm really looking forward to the um respawn anchor that will be pretty cool and uh really make the never uh a very different place and i think that's really what this whole snapshot's all about it's uh making the never some place that you want to explore you want to spend time in you want to uh, enjoy the ambiance and the biomes in there uh, rather than just run in grab some never courts uh, grab some blaze rods and scarper now you can stay for a fair while if you like this video please chuck me a like don't forget to subscribe and chuck me a comment if you're not one of my patrons please consider going visiting my patron site i uh give my patrons uh, early access to my videos i uh randomly uh, pop them into the patron um site and i uh, ask them advice as to which ones they do and they have a pretty good idea of what's coming up next they also get pride of place in my patron hall on the tricraft server and if you haven't seen tricraft series go and give it a look and uh until next time that's all from me hooroo